So there's a dumb joke about a guy who was backing up his car. He asked his wife to go stand outside to spot him, uh, make sure that he was, you know, not going to hit the pole. He says, tell me, uh, tell me if I'm going to miss that. And she's outside. He's listening for her. Wham! He rams his car right into the pole. Gets out. He's angry. Why didn't you tell me if I was going to miss that? And very calmly, she says, you weren't going to miss it. Hey, good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm Andy Ross, one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. I'm on a sabbatical study leave right now, but I just want to share these thoughts with you in the morning. Thanks for clicking on it. Today in our schedule of readings from the lectionary of the Presbyterian Mission Group, we are directed to read 2 Chronicles chapter 29. It's a story from the Old Testament that focuses our attention on Hezekiah, who was a really good king that provided godly leadership for the people of God. Do you know what one of Hezekiah's triumphs was in his leadership? It's in our reading today. He unlocked the doors of the temple. He reopened God's house for the people of Israel to come back and worship God. It had been closed off. Um, it was closed off, shut down. And so Hezekiah is famous for reopening God's house, reopening worship. Um, we read of the situation in his day. They discarded God, turned away from his house where we meet with God, and we just walked off. And so Hezekiah, through his servants, sends word out into the community. Children, don't drag your feet in this. God has chosen you to take your place before him, to serve in conducting and leading worship. This is your life. This is your life work. Make sure you do it and do it well. Come on back. One of the books I read on my study leave that has uh, really impacted me, startled me, is this book by Dr. Gene Twinge called Generations. It's, it's a pretty excellent um, survey of all of the different generations from the silent generation all the way down to the polars, our little ones. And she goes into great detail with lots of statistical data analysis about the unique tendencies of each generation. But you know, back when I did my dissertation on the baby boom generation, I read a lot of these kinds of books and it was interesting to see the generational differences. This is now many years later for me, disturbing. Dr. Twinge points out how with each successive generation, there has been an alarming increase of health issues, mental health issues, significant increases in depression, suicide, and what statisticians, statisticians are now calling deaths of despair deaths that are caused because of a morose quitting lifestyle. Friends, it is alarming. I believe now more than ever, people need to come on back. She points out in her book how beginning with the millennials and on, there have been significant numbers of people dropping out of church just no longer attending church or doing any real community act of worship. She points out how the rapid rise of the use of technology has given us incredible access, but only deepening isolation. 
and that we're not experiencing the real relationships of being with someone and having a shared purpose. There's been a rise of pessimism. Um, she expresses concern about how there might be a drop-off of community services in our cities because of the decreasing number of faith community. I could go on and on. It's very troubling. And so it's with a bit of passion. I want to share with you, and maybe you can pass this on to those you know. Church is not perfect. And you will not find that perfect church which fits your precise politics or your precise views of life. But find a church that adores Jesus Christ. A church that is of the Spirit of Christ, that welcomes him into our lives individually, corporately, and begin to live your life as a part of the body of Christ, where you are. Friends, the local church is the hope of the world. I believed it all my life. And now more than ever, the world needs the care of the church, the love of the church, the justice promotion of the church, the truth speaking of the church. I want you to make a renewed priority to come and be with us or at the church where you are. Um, Hezekiah was right. Consecrate yourself. Children, get going. Don't drag your feet in this. This is your life work. Praise God. Together.